Madison, and today it's. Yeah, I was gonna say today it's me, Madison. <laughs> My mom's doing push ups. Hey, everybody, it's me, Madison. So today I'm gonna be testing out two new foundations the Beauty Blender one and the Dior one. And so one foundation is on one side of my face and the other one's on the other side and then we're gonna see which one's better, okay? Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna open the beauty one, blender one first. I got it in shade 2.2. It's shaped like a beauty blender and you pump it and the foundation's supposed to come out on this and then you get your beauty blender and you just, yeah. It's not really heavy and the glass part is glass. So let's try. So here's what I got out of that. And I'm gonna be using the Dior foundation. And it's in the color 2N. And it's in this little squeezy thing. So let me zoom in and I'll be right back. Okay. So I drew a line down my face so I know which one is which. So this side is gonna be the Beauty Blender and then, wait. This side's gonna be Dior and then this one's gonna be Beauty Blender. So let's get started. So I'm gonna get the Beauty Blender one first. So, so far it looks dewy and it smells like a new beauty blender. And like, yeah, and it's like kind of white. And it is full, I would say medium coverage, but it's like really dewy and it's like really like smudgy because like if I wipe and it's like streaky. And it makes me look kind of yellow. Wow, I look weird. So this is definitely not my shade. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna build it up and I'm gonna get a little bit more and I'm gonna like see if it covers my freckles. Where is my freckle? Oh my God. So it is billable, like actually. Cause like I can't even see my freckles anymore. Well, let's see if I can cover up my mole. Most of it. But as you can tell, it's a really dewy foundation. So I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more. It feels kind of thick. I can feel the, this one on my face, like definitely it's not white. Okay, but next foundation is a Dior. And so I'm just gonna Okay, that's good for now. Ooh, this one's really light. And this is like light coverage, I can already tell. Ooh, this one smells like perfume. And this one also makes it like perfume and cologne. It smells good. Ooh, this, oh, I like this one because I like light foundations. So it's definitely runnier, but I love how it smells. Like definitely not full coverage, I'd say it's more light coverage. And I really like it. I like, so as you can see the shade difference. <laughs> and I really like the Dior one. It was like perfume and cologne mix and it's so good. So if I were to use one of these again, it definitely wouldn't be the Beauty Blender. It'd most likely be the Dior. I really like this one. So one thing I love the Beauty Blender, it's really hard to find your shade online. So if you are gonna get this foundation, I would go in store and get it because this is more of a heavier kind of foundation. And yeah, and it's really full coverage. This one, if you want something light and like for school or something, I would recommend this one because it's actually really light and it smells so good and it still gets rid of like the blemishes and everything that you need to get rid of. And Dior is not as dewy as the um, Beauty Blender one, if you cannot tell. And yeah, I just don't like the Beauty Blender one in general. So, so here's the look on the two foundations. So the packaging, that's what I'm gonna talk about next. I'm gonna start with the Dior one. This is a new color, like I, have, I bought two shades. This is the one I just used, but this one, as soon as you open it, it all burst out and it's like kind of weird. And it's just been sitting there. And it's kind of like wasting foundation and this stuff is not cheap at all. So yeah, and another thing is, 
Okay, so overall this package is okay, except it's squirting out. And then this one, I don't like the packaging because first of all, it's so hard to push down the pump. It's no, it's so hard. So it's, like, it's so hard to take this thing off, and I don't even have a sticker on, which is hell. And like the only other thing is, you would have to clean this every time after you're done using it because you wouldn't want it sitting like. You would have to wipe it off every time with a makeup wipe. And the foundation would get stuck in the crack. And then you'd have dry foundation. So, overall the packaging is about the same. I don't really like either of them because the Beauty Blender, you have to clean it every time and it's kind of part of the push out. And then these are squirt out when you open it. So, yeah. So now, we're on to the removal. So, I'm going to start with the uh, Beauty Blender one. Um, it moves pretty easily. It's kind of sticking to my lashes. And then now the other side. And of course this one's gonna come off easy because it was a little higher foundation. And that came off actually really fast. So overall I like the Dior one better and but y'all can try it with whatever you like basically because I don't like heavy coverage foundations or dewy foundations. You might like that, so I say if you like that kind of stuff, go for the beauty blender. But if you like a light coverage foundation that smells really good, go with the Dior one. Just remember the packaging when you first open it. I don't think it happens again. See it doesn't happen. No, not really. When you open it, it's the second time. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Click the bell. Leave a like. I'll see you guys next time on the Squirtle. Bye!